Hello everybody and welcome back to your favourite FIFA series on YouTube, it's Be A Goalkeeper episode 24. Before we start we have some great news, we hit 100 subscribers. <laughs> That is right, I would not have made it this far without all of you watching, subscribing, liking the videos, I appreciate it a lot. If we can get this video to 10 likes for the celebration, and like I said, don't forget to subscribe, let's keep this train rolling. Enough of all that sappy stuff, let's crack on with the video. So we are playing Austria Glagenfer in the first game, and every game in the league is very important for us. We are one point behind the leaders at the moment, so we need to keep on winning and start putting them under some pressure. So the first half of this match was very tight, not a lot happened from either side, one or two shots each. So we decided to skip on to the second half where we finally decided to score 62 minutes in and this celebration is a bit out of order to do to your own fans. Oh, wow. Gives them the old sedan treatment but this goal is a pretty decent one. You see our first touch there and a great run, decent through ball, bangs it across the keeper. Keeper probably should be doing loads better than that. You can see from this angle he does not have a lot of space to aim for but the keeper just lays down, avoids the ball altogether and we finally get a goal in this game. 70 minutes in they have a little cross here but I managed to intercept it, pretty simple, straight into my hands. He used to pressure on my defence a little bit, back to our bread and butter pass in there, a little flick and then a strike, keeper makes a decent save, probably should be scoring, he did have a lot of space in the box. And their keeper is definitely keeping him in this game. Great save at the near post, manages to claw the ball wide, but in the 90th minute he makes an absolute howler. How has he been beaten at the near post with that little dinky header? The cross gets deflected up high, the striker manages to beat the defender and the goalkeeper is all over the place. He's just flapping around, definitely should not be getting beaten there. I don't know how, he's like slapped past the ball and just jumped into the post for some reason. So we managed to win this game 2-0. It's a great result to keep us on track to win in the league. We're only one point behind those leaders. But you can see here we had 233 passes or was it 204? FIFA is pretty terrible when it comes to describing stuff. You can see in these articles there's a lot of mistakes normally. Sometimes it says you draw when you win and vice versa or it says you're a totally different team. But anyway we'll move on to the second game of the episode. It's a snowy one against SV Reed. And this is one of the reasons why I've decided to change the ball. I did make it red for some snow ones, but I decided to keep it red all the time now. But this is a bit of a farce. Look at that dive from that defender there. What is he doing? I don't know how they got a foul for that. Nothing really happens. He gets a little touch there. He decides to go down like that, breaks his ankle and jumps up screaming for the referee. What is going on? What has football come to when players are acting like this? Oh, my leg! But sadly it works and he managed to get a foul for it. Now you're going to see a bunch of this goalkeeper. He makes a load of saves in this match. We put him under so much pressure but we do take a while to break through. 27 minutes it is and look at that little turn. It's a great little finish. That keeper is not going to be happy with that one. Very poor from him. He should not be getting beaten by a little twisted shot there. Decent finish from him though but a great player. Well, look at this little jump. Whoop! Jumps over the ball. Lovely weighted pass, a little spin, boots the keeper at his near post, he'd be very disappointed with that one. Should be saving it, he's had a pretty good game up to this point. Maybe the snow got into his eyes or something, couldn't handle it. But I've come across a little problem with my play, I can never catch the ball anymore, I just always punch, which is pretty annoying because I used to just come out, grab the ball, throw it, carry on, but now I just punch it everywhere, every little thing's a punch. But coming up to half time, they get an opportunity the defender runs up to close the man down, leaves a space behind and they get a shot off. I do leave him that little bit of space to tempt him to try it, I knew I could get across to save it. It's a decent shot though, but easy enough, a nice level for me to push it wide out for a corner. You can see I'm not very happy with my defenders there, I don't know why he's charged out with not a care in the world, but like a Rojo for United back in the day. He's going on an adventure and no one's going to stop him. I'm going on! 60 minutes in and their keeper is still on top form. He makes another decent enough save there. Maybe we should be scoring that one. But now 65th minute and we do finally get our second goal and this keeper is going to be fuming again at that one. He makes great saves and he just lets himself down with very poor ones. The ball is hit straight at him and he just doesn't deal with it. Doesn't have the hand strength to push it out. Just pushes it into the top corner. Great play in the box though but straight at him. Definitely should be saving that one. I think he pushes it onto the post here. But look, he just, boop, not enough strength behind him, hits the post, top corner, 2-0 to us now. 
they are going to need one hell of a comeback if they're going to get back into this one. And now we're back to the punching problem. Just catch it. Why am I not just bring that in, easing the pressure? But we do win 2 0, and you can see the keeper makes five saves, concedes two, and there were two that he should be saving as well. So he can't be too disappointed, but he can be a little bit disappointed. And this here is the most important game of our season to see if we can get through the Champions League. It is complicated but doable. A win required, and the other result must go their way as well. Stay with us on EA TV. That's right, this is the game of the season against Liverpool at Anfield. What a stadium this is. But we have to beat Liverpool. If we lose, we're out of the Champions League. If we draw, we could still be knocked out, depending on the score in the other game. But Liverpool's first shot comes from Thiago in the 10th minute. Decent enough save for me. And then they get a penalty one minute after. What do Champions League referees have against us for these penalties? Every game's a penalty. A very soft one. There's no way he could avoid it. But it's me against Mo Salah. The fans are dreading it. I've got a pretty good record, but Salah's decent as well. But I guess right, and I get the save. We're still in this. It's very important. Jurgen Klopp is fuming, but that's a decent enough save. It's a good height for me. Not quite the corner, but I do make a decent stretch and do push it wide. Look how mad he is. Hold that one, Kloppy boy. But we all know Liverpool and they do not give up. In the 31st minute, we get a decent enough block that falls back to Manny and he slots it in. Not a lot I could do there. The defender gets a great block in. It just falls perfectly back to Manny. He's taken a long run to Klopp to make him feel a bit better about himself. To be honest, I don't know why they haven't rested any players. They are top of the group. They could have at least taken one day off. My defence does seem to switch off. Manny gets all the space. If Benio had loads of space, no one tracking back. A good block, but we are sadly 1-0 down, so all the pressure is on us now. We have to score two goals to give us a chance. We do get an opportunity on the volley just over the bar. No pressure on Alisson there. At half-time, it is 1-0 to Liverpool. So still a chance. Ajax and Sevilla are 1-1. So if we can get a win, we will go through. But now, look at this. I said about the jump in. I jump, miss the ball completely, and Canate scores. A centre-back on the volley is a great strike, to be fair to him but very poor for me this time. I jumped with Milinkovic Savic and he is tall as you like. I'm 6'1 with my hands up and he still manages to get in the way. I missed the ball completely, but look at that volley from a centre back. He has no right to be performing that. You can see, I whiffed it completely, went for his back of his head there, but how did he get his legs so high and just wasn't expecting it and we are 2-0 down so everything is against us now and Liverpool will not stop there. Klopp is still unhappy for some reason. It's a good enough opportunity but he takes the strike from too far out and not even on target. I would have had it covered anyway. Now our first proper chance comes in the 74th minute but Alisson gets to it and then gobbles that ball up as well. Into the 80th minute now, Manny's on the wing, he drills it past me at the near post. How has he beat me at the near post there? I covered the angle perfectly and here's my little bit of kryptonite. Every time we played against him, he scored at that near post. I don't understand why, I don't know why I haven't saved it. Just confusing. We had to go all out attack, no defenders back and he should not be beating me at this angle. I'm so mad, like generally I was fuming at this. Look, at there's no space there. Raise my hand up, goes past my elbow and he scores. It doesn't really matter in the long haul because we don't actually match the score in this game. It's just very frustrating when you cover your angles. And Liverpool are still not done. Salah there trying to get his goal. He hits the post from a very tight angle. He had no right to be even attempting that one. Shouldn't even be going in but he did still nearly beat me. And sadly that is full time. Liverpool beat us 3-0 to knock us out of the Champions League. You can see we had a few opportunities but Liverpool just took over and took absolutely no prisoners. And Ajax and Sevilla drew which adds insult to injury there. We could have gone through if we just beat Liverpool. We've done it before but sadly not today. Now on to the last game of the episode and this is the game that I performed probably my best ever. What a start there with a great save near post. Took the shot from pretty far out so I had all my angles covered but it does hit me in the gut. Wins me a little bit. I do a little dance to show how good I am. But they just put me under so much pressure. Shot after shot. That's two already in 10 minutes. We finally get an opportunity in the 15th minute. Great pass. The keeper misses out at the near post. Very disappointing for him. It's like watching me on the other team there. But that pass was well weighted there. Perfectly in his stride. And the keeper will be so mad at that one. 
The run is so perfect as well, well timed, runs in between the two centre backs, it's a great run and a great goal. We get a bit lucky from the slide tack but look at that, defender has no idea where he is, he drills it past the keeper, maybe I'm a bit harsh on the keeper there, he does hit it with so much power and velocity, he could have kicked a bullet and it would have gone off. 26 minutes in now and this happens a lot, they always seem to run our right back and left back ragged there. And they get a strike, I make the save and it falls perfectly to their striker just waiting and lurking in the box there. Very poor, my defender didn't cover me at all, but look, all the space, no one tracking back. In the box, all the time as well, decent save, and they had the cheek to blame me for this one for not pushing it wide. I push it decent enough wide, maybe it could have changed the angle a little bit more, but I did the best I could, but they just didn't cover me. You can see this team are all over us at the moment. They are taking shot after shot. You see that I'm under pressure with that four or five shots and a half already. We do manage to go in at 1 1 though, but it just doesn't stop there. On the half volley, chests it down and bangs it straight at me. It did have some dip and a lot of power behind it as well, but it's just a great run. Leaves my defender in the dust, on the knee, on the volley, but just did not have the direction to score. And back to the punching, what is happening with me? I cannot catch a ball to save my life at the moment. Look at that little back heel, I do gobble that one up though. For the whole game they just have not let up. Constant pressure, constant shots, but we do manage to keep the score level. 1-1 one, one is how it ends. Look at that, 8 saves, 9 shots against, a 10 rating. And that is my first ever 10 rating. I don't think I've even come close to that, but I definitely deserve man of the match. Their keeper only had the one shot on target and he conceded, so different gravy over here on my side. Finally, the manager has appreciated me with three ticks there. Look at my man of the match trophy, fully deserved, but you can see we are still one point behind, still in second place, and now we are into the winter break, no games for December or January. But that is going to be it for the end of the episode. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and as always, look after yourself, stay safe, and I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.